We have Mayor Olivia Chow uh, opening up some time on our calendar to join us this morning uh, to talk more about this and more. Good morning, Olivia mm -hmm. Chow, Mayor. Thanks for Good being here. Morning. Good morning, Mayor. Great to see you. Uh, so an ahead of another packed uh, Agenda Council meeting uh, this morning, you're, you're going to be uh, here to address some issues. And I think one of the key things I want to talk about right now is kind of the elephant in the room. You're getting a bit of backlash. The United Jewish Appeal, they're pretty upset and hurt that you missed the October 7th vigil on Monday night. Uh, we heard two explanations from from you yesterday uh, through the press saying that you had a meeting that ran long, it got pretty heated and you were exhausted, but also that your office uh, didn't get some emails, there was a lack of communication. Um, I, I see you around town, you attend so many events, you are almost, you know, everywhere when you need to be. So so what is the exact reason that, that this was missed, given that it's such an important day? I mean, a lot of people knew about it, even without needing an email, a reminder, or anything like that. You know, at the end of the day, it doesn't mm -hmm. matter. On Monday, I wore black. It's very much on, like, the entire day, even most of the weekend, because mourning the loss of lives was top of my mind. Mm -hmm. and uh, But as you see on the council agenda, we have an incredibly busy week. I just count on my staff to tell me where I'm going. And by late evening, when I finished it, I thought, hmm, this is it. And so mm -hmm. uh, then I, I, I could, I may not have made it anyway, but neither here nor there. I regretted not being able to be there. I apologize to the Jewish community and we'll do better. Uh, I was there last year, uh, immediately after Hamas killed so many innocent lives. And I was there in, you know, to, uh, because I care about the community and want to mourn with them about the loss of lives. So last year was there, this year, whatever the reason, miscommunication, it, it, it is not an excuse. So. Um, mm -hmm. Moving forward, let us have better communication. And uh, yes, I should have been there. Uh, uh, but members of the community, uh, Mayor Chow, sort of look at this as uh, whether it's the Jewish community in the city or whether it's even some members of your council as well are questioning your sort of priorities when it comes to the Jewish community. Uh, missing Monday night, uh, not being at the Walk for Israel, not being at the flag raising earlier this year. There's a concern about your priorities and your feelings towards the Jewish community in the city, I think fairly and understandably. How do you respond to that? Well, yesterday during the lunch break, I joined Councillor Pasternak in celebrating Rosh Hashanah. Uh, at Passover, um, I hosted a dinner, invited the, all the members, the leaders of the Jewish community uh, to City Hall. And um, when there is an anti-Semitism event that is happening, like a school being shot, I was at the school saying that hate have no place in Toronto. Uh, so uh, can I do better? Absolutely, we could all do better. At the end of the day, in this city, uh, I, we need to be very clear that we, this is a Toronto for all. Hate has no place because of the rise of anti-Semitism. We will continue mm -hmm. to work together with the chief of police and others to not just about mourn and feeling, the, being empathetic um, uh, and also be there during the high holidays, but also uh, going forward, look at how we could connect with people. And because um, it's also Islamophobia is on the rise, uh, everybody in, t the, in the last year, there is a lot of intense motions you see being played out on the street. My role as the mayor is to build bridges to say that what's happening in the Middle East is horrific, is terrible. And here in the city, we can see each other, take better care of each other, and see if we could come together even more. Mm -hmm. uh, Mayor Chow, just to clarify and confirm, did you apologize to the yes, United Jewish Appeals? That was yesterday, I did. and you did several apologize. times. Okay, but I am here mm -hmm. to talk about food. Thanksgiving is upon us. I think it's very important that children have a meal in school, which is the top item of city council, which I thought we were going to talk about because, mm -hmm. you know why that's important? Because one out of 10 Torontonians goes to the food bank for food, which means a third of them are kids, which means that we have kids that are 
in not having breakfast right now, by 10.30 today, they'll be hungry. And the top item at city council today is feeding more kids, mm -hmm. making the program universal. Start with 8,000 kids being fed, hopefully in January. So there's, the stars are aligned, whether it's the uh, City of Toronto, the children and the kids are excited about it, the schools are excited about it. We already know what schools mm -hmm. are going to get the food if we can get the funding, and the federal and the provincial uh, government are also saying that we believe in a universal food program. Uh, the federal government have a program that they announced in the budget in April. Mm -hmm. So we are harnessing that energy and delivering really good meals in the school for kids. Absolutely, and I, I, I just have to circle back to this because I understand what you're saying there. I know you want to talk about the food program here. Well, I want to talk about what's in front of city yeah, council. But right? you also mm -hmm. talked last week, and well, maybe not you, but the chief of police last week talked about the rising hate crime against right. Jewish, particular in this community, up 69, 70%, you know, in the last year here. You see these protests that are happening on our streets here where they're calling, effectively in some cases, for the elimination of either Israel or the Jewish people in the world here. Uh, and no arrests and, and, and no real pushback here. They sort of they sort of be allowed to raise their voices like this from, quite frankly, backed by terrorist groups in many cases who are at least terrorist support. How do you respond to seeing that on the streets of Toronto? Because that is something I haven't heard you specifically address. So I'd really like to hear when you hear and see videos of chants like that. How do you respond? The chief of police has the authority to lay charges if it's a hate crime. And he has done that. And um, in Canada, the rule of law say that if there is a hate crime being committed, it's the police that make a decision who to arrest and who to charge. Not a politician. You don't want that, right? Because this, you know, know that, that's, that's what democracy is about. The no, you are the but let me of the finish. City. But let me finish. But what democracy is about is also in our charter rights, people have a right to uh, right to assemble, right to express, okay? As long as it doesn't cross the line. What is the line is what is being debated right now and is debated in law and debated in the courts. Uh, and there is a healthy debate out in the, in the public realm. What my role as the mayor is, as I said earlier, that I need to bring and I, I'm hosting a uh, interfaith prayer, for example. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> my role is to bring people together. The role of the chief of police is to implement the law, okay? And the chief have talked to lawyers and also, you know, mm -hmm. uh, looking at if there is hate crime, he will charge. And there has been a rise of hate crime, absolutely. But do you have a line? What's the line for no, you? No, you do not want to have a politician say that you're committing hate crime, you're not. No, no, no. It's the police that decide on who uh, they charge. It's not up to political. This is not authoritative. Uh, the cornerstone of democracy is that the police um, mm -hmm. is the one that no, we understand uh, the, the legal decide issue. Decide on the charge, and it's also the court that decide on. That's all. Bit. I think that's all but, fair. But do you? If I asked, do you, you know? Would you make a def definition of hate crime? The law is very clear as to what is uh, hate crime. Now, if you don't agree to the law, then yes, you right. can go to the federal government and say that the law needs to be changed, and maybe it needs to be changed. I don't know. I think we can all agree that but we that, are we are not officers of the law, and we can't that's charge right. anyone. But I think we're asking we're about your, your the, emotion. What's hate crime? Your emotion when you see that a public school is lit on fire, when you see vandalism, when you see caricatures of a Jewish person's head being rolled around in the street, or calls for death to Israel. Mm -hmm. I think. Uh, the emotion it stirs up in me is, wow, that's hateful. Absolutely. So in you, you would say that is hateful Absolutely. and unacceptable. We're which not is why, to which is why arrest anyone. I yeah. was, I was, <laughs> which is why I was at the school when it was shot the next morning. I was there in front of the school together with the Jewish community 
and the chief condemning, uh, the deputy chief at the time, uh, condemning what was happening. When, uh, and when there's hateful incidents, um, you would see whether like Mount Sinai Hospital, you know, the people are climbing it, waving flags, mm -hmm. disturbing people uh, inside the hospital. I said, well, this is totally unacceptable behavior. And if you look at my past statement in the last year or so, it's probably eight or nine times where I've been very clear that, to say that hate has no place in this city. On top of it, last November, we at the city passed, under my leadership, passed a motion to say comprehensively, how do we deal with hate? How do you report? What do you do? What can the city do to assist you? And we do safety walks around uh, synagogues, mosques, uh, community center, schools, to make sure that all the environment is safe and secure. That too is important. So within my mandate of what I can do, we have been doing, whether it's in November last year, getting the policy mm -hmm. through and the implementation of the policy through the, this year, we're absolutely doing. And, and we, uh, the chief and I met with uh, the head of some of the Jewish schools to talk about, this is last week or the week before, during this high holiday season and the anniversary, what we are doing, what the chief are doing to protect communities against hate and the rise of anti-Semitism. I think we can all agree that there's definitely too much of that in the city right now. Mm -hmm. Mayor Chow, we know you have a very busy schedule and council meeting starts in about 40 minutes or so, so we've got to let you go. Appreciate you being here this Appreciate morning. Appreciate your time. Thank, Thank you so you. much, Mayor.